Hello and welcome back to another daily video here on Asia Now. I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever it is. Temperatures are scorching hot in the Philippines. Thousands of canceled classes, over 4,000 last I read. And temperatures are soaring many places around the Philippines, over 40 degrees. If you're new to the channel, before we get started to our main main stories take a quick second hit that subscribe button hit that like button it really motivates me to make these videos and lets youtube know that you're enjoying these videos so let's get into today's stories today's exchange rate one usd right now is equal to 56.355 pesos starting off with the filipino man 46 years old trying to set fire to a university a 46 year old man was arrested by a security guard for setting a fire on a fence for university of san jose ricolitos in Cebu City around 6 a.m. Thursday, April 4th. Arrested was Alejandro Bernardo Langi of Toledo City. He'll be facing a case of attempted arson. Not a small charge. I wonder what prompted him to do that. Next, a woman perishes after jumping off a bus in the city of Naga. A woman passed away after she jumped out of a passenger bus after the brakes failed and her body hit a tree. Police have identified the victim as Andrea Manainai of Toledo City, Midwest Cebu. The incident occurred around 3.45 a.m. on Thursday, April 4th. According to the driver, Gabe, the bus was driving from Toledo to Cebu City at 3.45 a.m. when the brakes failed. He had to slam the bus against concrete barriers until it stopped. However, one of the passengers had leaped from the bus in terror and struck her body on a tree, resulting in her passing away, and three others were also injured. The man is being held right now at a police station for questioning and uh, reckless driving causing homicide. Yeah, because I was curious, uh, brakes don't just fail usually. There's all these things in place for that not to happen. But I don't know, I'm not a technician or a mechanic. I don't want to presume, but I'll definitely be looking further into this. 3.45 a.m. would be a time that I personally have fallen asleep many times driving. So hopefully that did not happen in this case, but that's just an assumption by me. But let's see what happens with facts coming out later. Next, April 10th has been declared a regular holiday in the Philippines to celebrate Eid El Fitre which is like the celebrations of the end of Ramadan because that's when fasting is over and Muslims all, all around the world celebrate. I mean, uh, don't tell anybody, but I did not fast this year. I haven't fasted since I was a kid. Uh, so much respect to those that can go from sunrise to sunset without eating or drinking or cursing or, you know, it takes a lot of discipline to do that. So big respect to whoever fasted this month and hopefully you enjoy that big feast because uh, i'm here by myself i mean i don't deserve it anyways i guess because i didn't fast in more sad news a taxi driver in the philippines has passed away after he was struck by a truck while he was washing his car apparently the taxi driver was washing his car on the side of the road when a truck driver who claims his steering wheel got stuck and he could not steer away in time uh, resulting in unfortunately hitting this person who passed away. And some interesting news in Lapu-Lapu City uh, that involves donated land and new homes being built for those that need it. Here are the details. Around 200 Opanganan families who are informal settlers will have the chance to own a home as they'll be the first recipients of the upcoming socialized housing project of Lapu-Lapu City government this year. On Thursday, April 4th, the mayor said that Chan received the almost two hectare lot donation in Barangay Kalawisan from John Dorf Ventures Corporation, a real estate developer, the lot will be used for the city-funded socialized housing program. They said that they will prioritize these settlers who are living coastal villages, adding that there will be around 200 units in five-story condos by building, which will be built and donated to. The mayor said that the groundbreaking for the project may start this year as funding has been allocated. The next steps, he added, are the biding and awarding of the contractor. Call me a cynic, but I just find it hard to believe someone donating that much land. I mean, bless their heart if it's genuine, but I wonder if there are any like tax kickbacks, legal, all these other behind the scenes things going on, uh, because I, I would love to see the details behind this project of uh, why somebody would donate that much land for free, but good for the families that are getting free homes or at least discounted homes. We have to wait to see the details. Next up, a venomous snake in a classroom. A venomous Philippines cobra or Naha was spotted in a classroom in the city of Quezon province. The students classes were dismissed early before the snake entered the classroom. Yeah, I'll be gone too. If I was a kid, a student, I would not care. If it's between a snake or an ass whooping, I'll take the ass whooping any day. But here's a juicy story. Two Cancelacion barangay officials uh, were caught in a hotel room having a meeting. 
a meeting between a barangay counselor and a 22-year-old chairperson inside a motel around 8.30 p.m. in barangay Lapu-Lapu City was interrupted upon the arrival of the barangay counselor's wife and the police. So they were released from the police station after the, an interview resulting in them uh, not being found guilty of having sex, which is a prerequisite before they can file any charges. Uh, yeah, a pretty late meeting in a weird location, if you ask me, but what do I know of? In some Thailand Bangkok news, uh, panicked passengers jump into a sea to escape a raging ferry fire in the Gulf of Thailand early Thursday, and 108 people on board were safe, luckily. The overnight ferry from Suratani province was about to arrive in Koh Tao, a popular tourist destination off the Thai coast, when one of the passengers suddenly heard a crackling sound and smelled smoke. <sighs> oh, they escaped the blaze. In Taiwan, Globe, uh, the telecommunication company from the Philippines offered free roaming for those Filipinos in Taiwan uh, after that earthquake. So good for them, Globe doing something good for the Filipinos abroad. And that was some of the stories from around the Philippines and neighboring countries today. I kept this nice, short, and tight. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'll see you guys in tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, one more video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.